Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Gramp, Moodle Community Manager, and I'm here today with Anna Kresser, the Education Advisor in Moodle Academy. And I'm going to talk about the future of Moodle Academy. Can everyone hear me okay up the back? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Um, so the Moodle Academy team has doubled in size recently since the beginning of this year. You may recognise some familiar faces, one of whom you just saw at the front of the room, Mary Cooch, our Education Manager. And Aurelie Soulier, some of you may know, she started with us yesterday as our Community Engagement Lead. So please say hi if you see her wandering around the, off, um, the conference, but it's her second day, so um, she's keen to hear your thoughts and um, she'll start working with the community soon. Richard Lafroy is speaking um, directly after us. He's our learning and media technologist. And Rajaneel is our developer educator, so he's been creating our developer courses on Moodle Academy. We have a new start from about a month ago, Federico Astorga, our UX designer. Um, and of course, Sandra Matz, who has been working hard to put this moot on for us today. So if you see any of us around the conference, please come say hi. So what is Moodle Academy? Moodle Academy is the learning hub for the global Moodle community. It, it's here to help you learn everything about online education within Moodle. And it's a community of practice for professional development, interaction, and best practice, where users can get a Moodle badge or certificate to help grow in their career as an educator, administrator, developer, or designer. Moodle Academy launched in mid-August 2021, and it offers free self-paced courses to help everyone make the most out of Moodle and e-learning. You can get to Moodle Academy through moodle.academy, and create your own user account. Our courses are open, so they're CCBY mostly, and they're available for people to copy and reuse the content. There's a badge for every course, and certificates are available for programs of sets of courses for a small fee. So what kind of courses can you find on Moodle Academy? We have three learning pathways, one for educators, where you can learn how to teach, assess, and communicate with your learners. One for Moodle administrators, where you can learn how to manage and customise your Moodle site. And a Moodle developer pathway, which is all about learning how to develop with Moodle, create plugins, contribute to Moodle core code, and set up your own Moodle development environment. We currently have four programs, over 47 courses, We've issued over 6,500 badges, and we've got over 15,500 users registered so far. Here's a snapshot of some of our courses, and it gives you an idea of uh, the variety of courses we offer. So things like facilitating forums, uh, we have a course on ABC Learning Design, one on Introduction to MoodleNet, and developer courses like Web Output Essentials. We also offer general courses like Introduction to Moodle and Introduction to Accessibility. And we run regular webinars, so at the moment about two a month, and we all have also started delivering these in languages other than English. So on the right you can see a snapshot of our current webinars. If any of these pique your interest, you can go on to moodle.academy and sign up. And if you can't make the actual webinar, you can catch, um, watch the recording afterwards. Until the end of this year, we've run, well, have run 23 webinars and co-presented 11 of these. So roughly half are co-presented with community members, including our partners. We've had over 1,200 people attend and over 36,000 views on YouTube. In the future, we're planning to focus more on the developer and administrator pathways and enrich the general pathway as well, increase our frequency of webinars, offer webinars in more languages. We want to set up a, set, a credit payment system so organisations can fund their staff to get certified and integrate with Europass digital credentials. We also have a suite of programs which are sets of courses where you can achieve a certificate of completion. And we currently offer four programs. We've got Moodle Teaching Basics, Moodle, Moodle Teaching Skills, Moodle Developer Basics and Moodle Admin Basics. And if you are familiar with Learn Moodle, 
you'll um, recognise some of these names. We've redesigned them into short courses and added a lot more content as well. And we're also planning an additional intermediate level program for the developer pathway. So let's stay, take, take a step back and have a look at the bigger picture of learning how to use Moodle within Moodle Academy. If we could represent the process of learning as a mountain, then Moodle Academy's courses would be placed at the bottom along with the training that's offered by our partners. So Moodle Academy courses are self-paced and the partner courses add value by um, offering facilitation. So in the future, we plan more programs. Um, at the moment, we're developing a program around assessment, for example, and we're also planning to expand the number of languages supported. So I'm going to hand over to Anna now, who's going to speak to you about Moodle Academy certifications. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, all of you, for being here. Uh, so, so certifications uh, allow users to organize, verify and so offer their learning experience in Moodle. The idea is to offer uh, one certificate for each uh, learning pathway. At the moment, we have established and offer the Moodle Educator Certification and in a future plans, uh, the development of equivalent programs for the administrator and developer uh, pathways. Now, borrowing the mountain picture from Jessica, uh, we would place the MEC at the top of the educator's pathway. So if a user completes uh, our two programs offered in the educator's pathway and gets uh, uh, some uh, teaching experience with Moodle, what, at least uh, a year, then uh, this uh, user will be ready to get the Moodle educator certification. But let's see the certification program uh, closer. Well, what is the MEC? The MEC is an international certificate for teaching with Moodle. And uh, the competency framework that we generally use in the Educator's Pathway and in the MEC is the European framework for the digital competence of educators. Perhaps you know it as uh, DigiCombedu. And this framework organizes educators' professional um, pedagogy competencies as well as learners' competencies into six areas. And MEC follows exactly the same structure and has six certification courses that lead to six badges and end up into one certificate. Uh, please note that the MEC is offered exclusively by authorized Moodle certified uh, service providers and at the moment is offered in nine different languages. English, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, French, Catalan and German. And if you are interested about the MEC, you can take more uh, information from uh, the moodle.com slash MEC. Now, in the future, our plan is uh, to develop a competency framework for Moodle administrators and Moodle developers. Having those, we will be able to set up the Moodle administrator and the Moodle uh, developer certifications. Now, in Moodle Academy, accessibility and inclusion are important elements for the learning uh, of the future. So we try to keep academic courses simple and clear for people to get involved with and get uh, value out of them. The training courses uh, developed in Moodle Academy and the certification courses uh, developed in the MEC side are both uh, following the universal design for learning guidelines. That's why we follow a very simple and clear lay layout without the necessary um, graphics, uh, videos that contain uh, uh, transcripts uh, in uh, online downloadable format. And also, although the courses are self-paced and offered as such in, to uh, the wide audience, we still use uh, forums and trigger discussions so people can start um, engaging into the courses and set up their own self-regulated uh, communities. Now, uh, finally, we have clear uh, course completion guidelines and auto-assessed pre- and post-course uh, quizzes to help learners uh, control their progress. Now, uh, following Moodle LMS uh, that is 
example that is already translated into thousands of languages, Moodle Academy is working towards the easy translation of the course content. I'm not going to talk much about uh, this uh, thing. I just uh, want to thank you, uh, Andrew, who was our uh, external collaborator and developer who helped us uh, build this uh, plugin to easily translate the content of the courses. And Richard, in the following presentation, will tell you more about that. So the future uh, for us is to expand the translations even more. And we want to coordinate uh, and support train and coordinate the translators and group of translators to have all the courses of the academy uh, in multiple languages. And of course, we want to enhance accessibility by working on mobile app access. Now, we want to uh, extend uh, the future of, uh, of uh, the communities to involve community a lot. We already do this. And we want uh, people to come uh, to us and uh, help us present webinars, uh, work with us to create and uh, facilitate short online courses. And you can also nominate yourself or others to contribute. And you may suggest and vote on ideas of new webinars and courses. Actually, in our uh, main page of the Academy, you will find this icon that says Get Involved. And from there, you will be led into a course where you can um, suggest topics and uh, you can vote for topics already suggested and help us uh, set up our curriculum. Now, um, we have already several community contributions so far. We have four courses called designed. Uh, we have uh, 46 topics suggested and we have a lot of contributions, uh, contribution nomination and of course, thankfully, we have a lot of translators already raised their hand to help us uh, move on. Now, the future uh, for Moodle Academy is to involve the community even more. Um, we want to change our team's role from instructional designers to coordinators of a group of experts who want to share their knowledge with a wider audience as open educational resources. And of course, in conjunction with MoodleNet, our network to share and curate open educational resources, we will collectively empower educators to improve our world. So, thank you. And if you have any questions, please. Thank you very much, Anna and Jessica. Okay. Um, as Richard comes up to prepare for the next presentation, we have time for just one question, if anyone has a burning question. But as you can see, we are the Academy team. There's just one over there, if you'd like to, and you're welcome to ask us questions at any time. I saw something about payment system. Now they are free, the courses. What is the future of it? We didn't hear you well. Uh, so there was a question about the payment system. If they're free courses, why is there a payment system? Um, you can purchase a certificate of completion for our programs, but the courses themselves are free, and you receive a badge of completion for each course and program. So it's only if you require a certificate of completion you can purchase those. How much? Oh, I think they're between 20 and 25 euros. 